Welcome back to Pick Show. Um, wait! I didn't say to come in yet. You're doing a great character. Now we have to restart everything. Play the theme song. Welcome back. To Welcome back to Pick Show. Uh, today we have a special guest. Uh, oh, I'm Pick. Uh, today we have a special guest referee um, who actually has a lot to do with the Pick Show. Sort of. D did I? Did I? Did I say you can talk right there? By the no, camera. Sorry. Okay. Just check it. Special guest referee today we have. Uh, None other than himself, Mr. Pick Show. So, Mr. Pickshow, um, what is this uh, attire that you have on your um, noggin? Well, this is, uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything funny to say with that. <coughs> so, I know normally uh, you're sitting over here. I know normally you're sitting over here in this seat. Um, this seat. I've actually tried coming on the pick show as a guest one time and that didn't work out too well because the cameras kept turning off. So everything here fucking sucks! Ha 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 yeah. So we have fucking fantastic producers and you know everyone likes to shine lights in my fucking eyes. Is it? Anyway this is pick show himself. That is my last name. The long awaited secret. Has been un. Man, that's fascinating. Um, Can I have a wanna... beer? Yes. You're doing a fucking great character of me, by the way. Thanks. Oh, do you want another one? Sure. Nice. Yes. Um. Normally. I haven't asked you anything all right, yet. Alright, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Commence. So, commence Mr. The, Mr. I'm going to adjust the mic because I know all it'll right. piss you off good. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. You know, you see this? See, see, see this? See this is hurting the mic stand. Don't do this. Even though you just did it. So, Mr. Pick Show. Um, yes, sir. Besides drinking beer and uh, pointing guns at people on your show... What do you do for the outer waves? Oh, I should I should add a little bit of background knowledge is that Pick is a part of the outer waves as I believe the is it the seventh member or was or whatever we wanna whatever we wanna call it. Um right, did you lose something? No, I just I was nothing. Oh. Well allow me to proceed. You can if you want, I guess. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. You know what? I don't have to give you permission. Uh, I'm sorry. I, you'll have to excuse me. I'm used to sitting in that chair and being in control of the show, relatively speaking, because really, I'm not in control of the show because uh, those fine gents who are in control of the show like to, you know, make that clear by uh, playing songs when I tell them not to and just in general being, you know... They're, you know what? The, the staff, the staff on the picture are great. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm not the host here. I don't mean to be hijacking the. No, I appreciate it. It was a very good. Uh, Am I doing a good job? Very good. You, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. So it was Don. At, at, you know, never mind. Um, just in case we didn't know, the table is labeled table, so we don't forget that. Uh, I did find, come across this piece of paper that says, 
don't see tomb. Do you want to explain what that means? Ah, uh, yes. Um. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I gotta turn on one of my own fucking cameras because I nothing works around here. But I thought I didn't think you were the. Oh. Oh, exposed. Is it? Is this mic working? Is this mic working? If this mic's working, I just wanna. I just wanna say, uh, male nurse. <laughs> well, the card seems to be full on this camera, so if you wanna go ahead and chat a little bit to yourself. So, pick. How is it being pick? Well, you know, pick. It's uh, it's an interesting task being pick, pick. Because uh, when you're pick, you got to do picky things, and, uh, you know, not everybody's capable of doing picky things, and uh, it's it's a little bit of responsibility, it's a little bit of, uh... uh it's a little bit of a challenge. You know, because when you're a pick, uh, there's certain uh, expectations that you, uh, you know, you host a show and you come up with shit to say and don't just uh, rely on your guests to give you, uh, give you, oh, hello, what is, what are you? We're putting a bra on you. Okay. I guess that's a thing that's happening. That's fine. Whatever. <coughs> uh that's backwards, isn't it? Shouldn't it go on the front? This is how you Not that I know on. how to put one of those on. I don't <laughs> wear those usually, I don't think. But, like, shouldn't the boob covering part be in the front? Shit. You're a 38. I'm not a 38. 33? I'm a 33, thank you. That's not a size. <laughs> Where'd you get this sweater? I got it at uh, um, Salvation Army. I, I think it was. Sorry. Oh, okay. I think it was two, three, or four dollars, something like that. It was a small amount of, <coughs> of cash. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's. I don't object to that. That's. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I mean, no matter what I say about this, there's going to be footage of me now on the internet wearing a bra, so that's great. What I was saying, though, is when you're a, when you're a pick, you know, you expect to... You expect and are indeed uh, expected to... Oh! Alright, so, little, little unknown fact is I'm a part of the uh, editing team of the editors that you may not talk to. Um, so... All that, which you don't know, um, all of that, because I will just edit it out, and it goes away. And it, it's not, right, right, not going to be a right. thing. Like you can edit out the whole part where this bra got put on me, and then you, and can, then you can edit out where I'm taking it off, because I don't want to wear a <coughs> bra. I should probably wear it home. <laughs> Feel free to go ahead with your uh, your questions or whatever. Uh, Right, 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 right. We, I believe we were just discussing your role with the Outer Waves um, entity. Titty. Um, so, you are part of the management squad of the Outer Waves, I believe. Squad. Uh, Whomstative um, consists of myself, Tom Burns, and Don Burns, and yourself, Pick Show. Pick Show. So... What exactly do you manage, per se, in the Outer Waves, per se? Per se? Um, actually, since the Outer Waves have died, I don't manage anything in them anymore, inside them. But... But, uh... Once upon a time, when the outer waves were still... Did I interrupt your sipping sound? Do you want to do it again, so...
Once upon a time when the outer waves were out kicking it as the as the kids say nowadays. I was well, basically I was handed the title of stage manager to uh make me feel like I did something because in reality I carried shit from a van carried it to a stage haphazardly set it up in roughly sort of a coherent fashion and then everybody else did everything from that point on and I would just stand around with my thumb up my ass one thing I do uh, remember though that I took a lot of pride in is uh, there was in the outer waves we had a fleet per se of vehicles that we would transport our uh, various uh equipments in and one of those vehicles was actually several of those vehicles were beige colored minivans but one of the beige colored minivans was a big piece of shit and that piece of shit carried a bunch of other shits that uh, are lovely lovely effects and or lighting and or a bunch of other technical shit that I don't care to spout out of my stupid mouth sure, manager sure manager was in charge with. I hope that's a good way to end that sentence. I forget how I started it. It was a bunch of lights and shit, basically, is what, I, is what I'm trying to say. All that shit that's not important that nobody cares about, because, you know, all that matters is, uh, is that you're playing music, and if you want to make a good show, uh, the music's all that's important, and all that goes into a show is not anything other than, like, if you want to entertain people, you just play music. And it doesn't matter what you play or how shitty it is or how uncoordinated and unpracticed it is. As long as you have that, you're good. So um, any, uh, any special effects, any eye-grabbing, attention-grabbing uh, lighting or theatrics. smoke. Theatrics, yeah, yeah. No, yes. Not to interrupt. No, no, no. You're the host. You may do whatever you please, Whatever sir. I damn well please. Yes. Thank you. Um... I've, I've kind of gone off on a tangent here, but basically my whole point is, when you are in a group, and I don't like to use the term band because I feel like uh, The Outer Waves was more than that. When you're in a group, everything else that goes into it is not important, basically. Uh, that was weak. Weeb tune. So, I think what I was talking about originally before I went off on this tangent was that uh, these uh, accoutrements that we would use for the shows for the non-important parts, a.k.a. not the music parts, they would go into one of these beige vans. And I would load them into said beige van, and I would load them in a way that they would all get broken. And I can't do it like uh, Master Pick. Proceed. I apologize. Oh, no, not necessary at all, sir. You're doing a good job. Um, but the thing I prided myself the most on was my ability to load all the non-important lighting and effects equipment into the one of our two beige vans in a fashion in which it would destroy it and render it useless for any future shows we may have. And really, that's what I take pride in the most. If, if anybody ever was was able to break shit while loading it into a van I, I'd like to say humbly that I was the best at that and anybody else can fuck off because fuck you if you think you're better than me fuck you um, we have a um, what, what do we call it on pick show I forget it's um, auxiliary staff uh, we have an auxiliary staff member picking pieces off of a Totino's boy pizza that's for that auxiliary staff member, is not, or is it for you? I don't remember why we put it in the oven. Well, given my body's used to a diet of nothing but eggnog and alcohol, I would assume it's for the auxiliary staff. So, that auxiliary staff could so go they, set it down and cut it up and eat it for their own well-being. And not drop it on the floor. And not drop it. <coughs> That's okay. Auxiliary staff, you can still eat it. 
we could still see who shall remain nameless for sh- for their her their privacy privacy. But it was Allie. It was Allie else. It was um, Allie else. It was male nurse. No, it wasn't. That's Miguel. We're hoping to have Miguel. Male nurse. Male nurse. We're hoping to have uh, our good buddy, Miguel, on the show again, I know. I don't know what's going to happen with the show now, apparently. I, I don't know how this happened or when this happened, but I'm over here now, and we seem to have switched hosts, so. Yeah, I didn't explain the situation too well, is that uh, Pick, being the general host, besides during the Michael episode, if you haven't seen it, um, go ahead and go and watch that right after this one, um, Pick is the typical host for this show, um, hence the name The Pick Show. Um, I keep looking at the camera that is facing away from me. I'm not sure. It's not looking at me. But um, Pick is usually uh, over on this side, and Pick does not get asked questions very often besides nonsense. So I'm trying to ask Pick tr- tr- about tr- him sedative self. Trying to ask? Trying to ask? Stop, Stop leaning into the, the microphone. microphone. Sorry. You don't, you don't have, have to do that. Oh. Do you see me doing that? No, I definitely don't, and I'm and I'm sorry. I I apologize. I don't mean to ruin your, well, your show, sir. Now you make me feel like a dick because you apologize. No, no, it's a, you. You're, you're doing, doing a good, good job. job. Thank you. So there's many things around this studio. Um, there's literally many things around this studio, but there's also many things around this studio that uh, Pick has come over, and it's not a house or anything in Parma. But there's a lot of things here that uh, uh, whoever owns this house, I, I would never have been able to get working or use if uh, Mr. Pick Show hasn't uh, didn't come over and help me with. Like the uh, condensate tub, which is formerly known as the hot tub. Ah, yes. And, um, uh, Funny story about the condensate tub, if I may. Bell? If I may tell it. Absolutely. The condensate be tub. Be my guest. Get be, it? be my. Get it? Because. Oh, because I'm the guest and you're the you're host. The... Because your pick, it says on your hat, even. And you're drinking Coors Light. And you have sunglasses on. Because we're trying to get sponsored by Coors. Of course. Of course we are. Coors. Coors. Sponsor, sponsor us, sponsors. please. We, we have, have no, no money. money. <laughs> at all. We're, we're going to die. die. We're, we are going to die. Anyway, if you uh, if you're not a complete faggot, then you obviously know what a hot tub is, and you enjoy partaking in the bubbly, warm waters of a hot tub. Now, here at Pick Show Set, aka uh, Tom's house, we have a Which hot has tub. Bad LTE. It it does have bad LTE, as I'm sure any uh, loyal viewers of the of the of the Nerd Show would know. The Pike Show. The Pike Show. I'm sorry. Pike show. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah. I hate oh, that show. Okay. Right. Picture. Any loyal viewers would know, uh, Don Burns gracefully uh, endowed us the knowledge that Tom's house, a.k.a. Pick Show set, does indeed have bad LTE, but that's besides the point. Uh, Tom's house also has access to a hot tub, which we lovingly refer to as condensate tub. Now, uh, our... Uh, I guess our host, uh, Mr. Pick Burns over there, he informed uh, our viewers that I was indeed uh, crucial in the functioning of Condensate Tub, which is in fact incorrect, because Condensate Tub was fixed by unsticking the impeller in the motory assembly, whatever you would call it, the technical term. Motory boy. Right, I'm sorry. Um, which I actually had nothing to do with, because quite literally, all that it took to repair condensate tub was grabbing the impeller with a with a pair of pliers and and turning it so to as to uh, unseize it. From that point on, condensate tub functioned sparsely, you know, beside blowing fuses and and the like. And I actually was not the one who 
spun the impeller with a pair of pliers. Therefore, I was not the one who fixed condensate tub. That's just an example of me getting credit for something I didn't do, which is what usually happens when I get credit for something. These things I sometimes often uh, forget um, is uh, you seem to have a very good uh, I see ability. You seem to have a very good ability to make it seem tomb, that you are doing a lot of things that uh, other people have done. It seems to be. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that sentence was. But, anyway. You're doing better than I do, to be fair. <coughs> Granted, uh, you know, I've been giving you practically nothing, and when I host the show under normal circumstances, the audience... I'm sorry, not the audience. I'm a fucking idiot. Kill me. Do you have a gun over there? Could you shoot me with it? Thanks. Safety check. When I am... That gun doesn't even have a fucking safety. No mag. See. When I'm hosting the show, which is what is, you know... No, you're doing a great job. I have, thank you, I have uh, a lot of content. My, my guests give me a lot of content. So I'm actually not put in a position where I have to think of anything to say. The position you're in, you're interviewing me, and given what I just said, where I don't think of any content myself, you can't feed off me the same way I, in your position, would feed off of the guest. So, granted, you're doing a really good job with what you have here. Thanks, you're doing a great job. Thanks, you're doing a great job. Thanks, you're doing a great job. You too. But, um, if at all you're looking for, um, not inspiration, and I know that's not the word I meant to use, but I said it anyway to pan out time, uh, advice on how to host the big show. I mean, I, I this isn't the first time I've had another host host the big show. <coughs> um, the last host I had, who shall remain nameless for legal purposes, his name was Michael Gurgis. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He was actually a way better host than I was. He was Egyptian. He liked to hold cameras. Um, he shattered a fucking bottle on the Can set. You put that that in like a, Can, Can you put, put that, that in here? In here? Nobody understands what that means unless they've seen the other episodes. That's the thing. Better go watch it. Go watch it if you haven't. It's good. Not now, though. Finish this episode. Serrano Chili Peppers. They're, they're good. good. Actually, go ahead. Watch it. Go ahead and watch any other Yeah, episodes. they're probably better than this one. But it's like literally going from shit to shit that has dried out in the sun so you can't smell it anymore. <laughs> But still better. It's, it's like um, a when you have a dead mouth five in the furnace. Yes. And then the next time you come over, the dead mouth five is all baked. It's all cooked. And crispy. Yeah. So that that dead mouth five no longer smells in the basement like dead mouth five. It, it, not, it yes. no longer smells of dead mouth five. Um, are these socks clean? I thought they were yours, but sure. Yeah, they're clean. I got them from over there. Oh, they're probably clean. Sure. Okay. Tom only comes to his house that he purchased and owns to clean clothes, and that's the only thing he does. Oh, and to turn cameras back. I'm just Was that my camera? Yeah. Can I vape in here? <laughs> I really I hope. In two minutes. Two minutes. Tomb minutes? Seeb tomb? So. Um, pick show. I don't know why this has become a thing. I that never was said. Is before. that camera working? Yeah, it's uh -huh. on. It just turned itself off because you know that that it does that. Real quick to finish my thought, if I may, uh, Tom Burns purchased this uh, vessel. Tom Burns, who whom instead of his management for the outer waves, he purchased this vehicular that we are in. Even though it's not a vehicle because it doesn't move, uh, it's a house rather. This is where the pick show's uh, set. 
He only comes here to film the pig show on the back burner when the other member of on the back burner who shall remain nameless, Don Burns, uh, is available for, which is never. <coughs> and to clean clothes and to drop off appliances. I always found that interesting. That uh, Typically, when you own a house, you live in it, but to each his own, I suppose. Where, where were we before this? I don't know. The pig show. Oh, right. Oh, uh, what I do on the pick show is I ask the guests about their origins, their affiliations with the Outer Waves, how they got to where they were, and just a little bit of personal stuff about themselves. And this is all if I don't forget what I'm supposed to do, which happens quite often. Uh, we're doing pretty good, granted. I mean, uh, I mean, like I said, there's always uh, the standard format of ask the guest questions, but... So, besides breaking all the fucking lights and um, not fixing the van and um, spilling gas all over my driveway, what would you say you'd do here? Here is in... Good old quote from, uh, what's that, uh, Office Space. Here is in this location uh, right now, or not a location so much as the Outer Waves... The organization. Organization or location? Because I can answer both, probably. Well, let's... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> let's start with the... I don't care. Just start with one of them. And, and, and um, tell us. Start with one of them and okay. tell us. Okay! Pick. pick. Can I take a piss break? Yes. Okay. I'll be right back. <coughs> Make sure the cameras don't run out of card right when I get back. Even though that's impossible. Welcome back to Pick Show. We are back uh, after that episode. Um, oh, right. We already isn't did this, that. Isn't, already this, did isn't, isn't this the same episode? <coughs> so. Duh. Episode. Duh. Episode. Duh. Same tune. Damn it! <laughs> Was that mine again? Mine again. Mine indeed. <coughs> so the Pick Show started out a while ago. Um, and, um, you were sort of, the way that it just kind of, I mean, there was no, like, direction, was there? There, It was kind of, like, just thrown at you, like, okay, you're going to interview these people, right? Um. Did Don kind of coerce you? Yeah, I was going to say, Don Burns, uh, approached me, and he, uh, he said that. He said, he said that noise that that phone just made. You should throw me that phone. And not it was that weird it's... because I've never heard a human before Don did that. I've never heard a human make that noise. Yeah, because it should be physically impossible for a human to make that noise. Right. But uh, what Don did is he approached me and he said, You know what? You're such a fucking asshole to everybody all the time. We should make a show where that's the whole point of the show. Like, you're just an asshole to everybody on the show. And I said, Don, that's fucking stupid. And he said, no, that right there, that's gold. We need that for the show. And I said, all right, if you want to do your stupid fucking show, we'll try it, whatever. And we recorded the very first episode of Pick Show, and I think it was with Petey Platinum, and it was terrible and shitty. The and, audio uh, was fantastic, at least. Oh, the audio, it was in 4K Dolby Digital surround. Because 4K does... Refer to audio. <laughs> refer to audio quality. Um... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? I'm fucking listening to you. I am just having a conversation via cellular device. K? K. K. So the pick show um, started off with, uh, like you said... Right. Don Burns um, was saying, okay, oh, pick your asshole, and, uh, you know, let's do this on the show. It's necessary. And um, then you were an asshole to everyone on the show. And I have to say... Jeremy, Barbecue Jerry. Ha, what? No, I'm 
not gonna try to plan it. Barbecue Jerry, how what? How what? Um, you pr- you really laid into uh, this gentleman, um, and he was uh, very upset about being wrapped in a garbage bag. Anyway, um, that, all of that, your that, guests, that was the staff, not me. I didn't kidnap Barbecue Jerry and duct tape his hands and shit. I believe the official story was that he kidnapped himself and put himself right, in this Right, exactly, bag. which I have no stake in that, and uh, I have immunity. I had steak at your house. It was pretty fucking delicious. Yes, you did. It was a T-bone. Kind of like a T-Rex, but it was a steak, not a dinosaur. Yes, but still similar. Right. Camera shutting off noise. Exhale noise. Who are we talking about who doesn't come on the show anymore? Well, let's see. Uh, I guess Chase doesn't come on the show anymore because he left to join the Rolling Rock cover band cover band. How you're a cover band of a beer is beyond me. I didn't know beers, like, had music. I thought they were just alcohol that you drank. I mean, that's what I always, you know. Uh, make sure you up that sip noise in post. Post. Post Malone. Make sure you uh, increase the volume on that sip noise in post Malone. <laughs> Point being, uh... That gentleman doesn't come on the show anymore. Uh, barbecue. Well, he was never on the show, but I mean, uh, Golden Boy Chaz Daniels. Golden Boy Microphone Daniels. Himstead of doesn't come on the show anymore. Uh, barbecue Jerry, ha huh, what? He's very slick, plays with a cherry pick, ha ha. Funny meme that isn't dead yet. Now we're getting recovering data on the fucking handy cam. Why? Hand seed cam. Tomb. Hand seep doom. This is a shit show. Just let anyone this is a shit show! Now there's a fucking shark! I just figured I'd do that. Ow. Well, you're fucking around with the camera. Seeb! What did I tell you? What Every time I, I go up. What did I tell to him? Every time I go up on this fucking table, I hit my head <laughs> on the fucking ceiling. Seedling. <laughs> Fuck Damn you. it! I meant to flip you off and I pointed. I'm in pick show mode. Nurse! <laughs> Would you like to switch for a minute? Alright. Ow! Oh god, I did that one on purpose, but it was way harder than the other one. <laughs>